Greetings everyone, this is the Hipster Snack, and today I am very pleased to announce Zed Technician has launched a new game, The Fish's Tale. So, as is our tradition, we're going to check the settings. Uh, rather, I'm going to check the controls. Move, run, crouch, interact, advance, amulet use, so that's something. Remove ingredient. Okay, so that's interesting. Something is definitely escalating. That's why I check these things. You never know what you're going to find. So, right is like our back button, essentially. So, let's not waste any more time. You guys know the drill. We're going to hit new game. We're going to start normal mode, okay? I'm not that... <laughs> I usually lose my first play. Whoa! Do I even have to say it at this point? You guys know what I'm thinking. Whoa. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's such an underreaction! Are you Angela? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I saw the tail, and I knew it was a fish. I wasn't ready for it to be an angler fish. <laughs> okay, Zed Technician, you got me. Okay, that threw me off harder than the cockroach. Oh good, thanks for coming. Such and such short notice as well. I should probably tell you exactly why you're here before we get started. My involvement in this whole situation began to my father's untimely passing. In his will, he left three things to me. The first thing was his house. Okay. It may not look like much, but it's been in our family for generations. Second thing was the $20 he had in his bank account. Wealthy man, he was not. Though his kindness more than made up for his lack of wealth. Well, that's good. The third thing. What is that? Was the responsibility of keeping the fish asleep? That's the part that I'm going to need help with. So, what do you need me to do? Well... My father had the foresight to leave a set of instructions for me to follow. Apparently I'm supposed to perform... Preform? An annual sealing ritual, and if I don't, the fish will be awakened. During his time here, my father was able to enact the ritual entirely by himself. And I hate to admit this because of how embarrassing it is. It seems the gift must have skipped a generation, because I'm nowhere near as adept in magic as he was. I try it over and over again, but I can't seem to do this on my own. That's why I hired you tonight, my friend. Okay. Ritual involves the summoning and gathering of five mystical chains. By splitting the work evenly, we should be able to complete the ritual and succeed where I failed. I'll perform the spells to summon the chains, and then you'll go to collect them. That sounds dangerous. I've already transcribed the necessary information into my laptop. Ah, so magic has moved into the <laughs> the new era. Good on you, Monica. The five spellcrafting recipes in total, and also a list of the correct order in which to make them. Allow me to open the correct file, and then we can begin. Holy crap. Oh, I see hair. False water. So, binding. Cursed ashes, spiteful thing. Dauntless, forsaken, echoing. There we go. I already have all the necessary components at hand, so you won't need to concern yourself with that part. Most people nowadays use a fancy blender or something that makes their spellcrafting recipes to get- So magic is a known quantity? It's just another science in this world? Why does that both surprise me and not surprise me at the same time? But not me, no. I've always preferred the more traditional route of using a mortar and pestle. You put the correct ingredients into the bowl and then grind it all together using the pestle that's right next to it. It's all quite easy. Okay, so what do I do? Spiteful Fang, Idle Hand, Spiteful Fang. I put that, Idle Hand. Wait, the order probably matters. No, Idle Hand is the next ingredient. What next? Mournful Miasma. Broken bone. Alright, so then I just go to town. There, that should do it. The mixture is complete. All I have to do is pour the contents into the cauldron. Cauldron? What? 
Cauldron. There's a typo there. What cauldron? Okay, okay. I know putting a metal drum over a bonfire doesn't exactly qualify as a cauldron. But you can't afford a real one, sometimes you have to improvise a little bit. If it works, it works. Precisely. Okay, so put that down. Take this. That is a big fish. Okay, here we go. Look, the green hues means that I did everything correctly. I think. You mean you're not sure? Nope. But here's the part where you come in. Now that the first chain has been summoned, it should have materialized somewhere nearby. I need to go find it and bring it back here. Where is it? I don't know. I've never gotten this far before. Father always used to tell me, and from the mist of the cauldron, thy past shall be revealed. Why not try looking into the cauldron and we'll see what happens? Okay, we're changing perspective. Doing everything in my power not to look down. Finally hear a voice emitting from the mist. Bethel Road. Ward Road. Bethel and Ward. So that's Bethel. I wonder if these are randomized. There's always some randomization in these games. We'd... Ward. That is some moon. That's a great skybox. I liked the one in, uh... Midnight Midnight, and this is even cooler looking. Oh man, this is a long run. At least nothing's jumping out at me, but this is totally a game where that could happen, so I, I don't know what to expect. The game just dropped today, so I don't know what I'm doing at all. Alright, Magic Chain, that looks promising. And... take it! Now I run back? Oh, no, I just teleport back. Oh, there you are! Are you able to find the chain? Yep. Oh, good, I knew I could count on you. Let's leave it on the ground near the cauldron for right now, okay? In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and summon the next. Okay, so I'm gonna alternate playing between these two characters depending on what part of the equation I'm in. Okay, so what's the next one? Lost? Dark storming morn, the scourge wash ashore, terror from its mouth, and plunge our lands into famine once more. Repose was not found, not by gods, not by lords, until a young lad did quell the beast, and his curse did stop the hordes. Dauntless. Okay, I need Dauntless. Okay. Watchful eye. Back. Cursed Ashes. Cursed Ashes? Where? Oh, I'm already freaking out. Ah! Okay, Silver Tongue. Usually that's uh, more of a figurative thing. Oh, I can move stuff around if I want to. Bleeding Heart. Boom! Green. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm already freaking out. <laughs> okay. There we go. In spite of the initial complications, this is going pretty well, I'd say. But we do need to hurry. I must tell you, there's a reason why keeping the fish asleep is so vital. There are things inside of it. Things? Parasites. Nasty little things, really. As the fish begins to wake up, they come out in search of food. Speak of the devil. Oh no! I really don't like this! Oh, jeez, that thing is creepy. I hate that. Tread carefully by collecting the next chain, my friend. Having just exited, so the parasite should leave you alone for the moment. Can't guarantee that will happen as they begin to grow hungry. I hate that. I really hate that. Finally hear a voice. Garner Street. Millwood Street. Garner and Millwood. Millwood. Is it just me, or does everything seem to be, like, higher graphical resolution? What do I do? Do I just... What the heck? Oh, I hear you! Yeah, I hear you! I don't even have a shotgun! Whew. I don't know if watching it helps or if I'm just panicking for no reason. I got the next one for you. Thank you, my friend. Two chains down, no, only three more to go. Let me a moment, I summon the third. Can we go inside? <laughs> well, I'm going inside. Okay, what's the next one? Order Harkening. 
Okay, this one's a little more complicated. Diabolical dust. Uh, diabolical dust. Check. Next. Cursed ashes. Uh, idle hands times three. Two bleeding hearts. Mournful miasma times one. And two spiteful fangs. Okay. Green. Green is good. There's no monsters waiting to jump me, are there? This is already, like, super high tension. I don't know how he does it without fail every time. Your chance been summoned. It's your turn again, my friend. Okay, then. I'll be right back. Wait, before you go. Something I wish to give you. A weapon? A shotgun? Oh. Jewelry? Let's not me to pawn it off. <laughs> pawn it or something. I don't really need it. No, 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 mere, my friend. This is no mere jewelry. This is a protective amulet. My father used to craft these in his spare time. Should anything try to harm you, simply point the amulet towards the assailant and utilize space within your mind. Nice. We'll take care of the rest. This is like sparingly. If it runs out of energy, you'll need to recharge it by the fire. There's a small tab on the back that you can use to remind yourself of the path you must take, but only once per trip. Keep these things in mind. Okay, so it's basically my Omni tool, but I have to still be careful with it. Bethel, Sand Mill, Walker. Bethel, Sand Mill, Walker. Eyes open. Sand Mill. Yeah, you better run. Oh, this is bad. If I use up all those shots, I'm really toast. Walker, Walker. Walker! That was so close! Oh my gosh! Okay, there's a cooldown between them. I saw that. That's all my shots! I think I just killed myself. Wait, do I have one more shot? Maybe I have one more shot. Okay. Doesn't kill them, but it does drive them off. Which, for our use, is good enough. Okay, that's three. Trust you located the third? Yep. Good. We're halfway through the ritual now. Thank you, Gonsorker, your help, my friend. You could not have made this far without your assistance. We'll tie it for a moment. I'll prepare the next mixture for the next chain. Please stop barfing those little awful things up. Order. Binding. Okay, cursed ashes. Just one. Broken bones. Get out of here. Don't let him psych you out. It's fine. Fool's gold. Mournful miasma. Yeah, I see you. Watchful eyes. I already have two watchful eyes. They're right there in the window. Spiteful fang. Well. Uh. You guys, I cannot explain the discomfort level. <laughs> I cannot. Is it ready? Yes, indeed it is. Okay, be back in a flash. Stay vigilant. Okay, good. I have all my charges back. Can I hear voice? Garner. North Gate. Song Creek. North Gate and Song Creek. Seriously? Again? I missed! Okay, I think I see the chain up ahead. And I hear... Trouble! I had to take a twofer on that one, so I have to make sure that this works. Gimme! Gimme, 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 gimme! Oh man. Yes, yes, four chains collected now. 
So one more left, and then our work tonight is done, my friend. Only I'll begin summoning the final chain. Okay, so it has to be Forsaken. It's three silver tongues. Thought I saw something. Watchful eyes, two of them. Bleeding heart. Usually a plant, spiteful things. Bleeding heart is a flower, if you guys must know. Diabolical dust. Or diabolic dust. You guys tell him freaking out, cursed ashes. Whoops, I moved them. Idle hand. And one dash of fool's gold. Okay. Here goes. This is already stressful enough. And this the final thus the final chain has been summoned. Not a moment too soon, for I fear the fish is growing restless. You must hurry. You can count on me. Excellent. Okay, where am I going? I can't hear the voice. Bethel, Sand Mill, North Gate, McKinley. Northview. Holy moly. Okay, here goes. Sand Mill. That I remember. What's... Yeah, what I need is a little bit more stress. Holy moly, I'm going through these charges fast. Sand Mill. Whoa! That dude was right up on me! Song Creek. What? Wait, what just happened? Fishing the Wicked Pass anticipated. How strange. So you don't keep your assistance tonight. Head on red page post listing. Cute little reference. I'd truly be in a bind. No problem. I can take whatever jobs I can find. I can't afford to be picky. So I went the wrong way. Bethel, Sand Mill, North Gate, McKinley, North View. Okay. Bethel. Sand Mill. Yeah, I figured you'd go for another swing at me. Sand... Holy moly! I think a shotgun might have been the better choice. I think I'm in some kind of super mode. What? Oh no. I messed up again? Bethel, Sand Mill, North Gate, McKinley, Northview. No. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? There's only one thing for a gamer to do in a situation this dire it's to write notes. Alright, so this time, we're gonna get it right. So we're starting on Bethel. There's no way I can mess that up. It's literally the first road. That's Sand Mill, and that we've been doing pretty consistently. North Gate. McKinley. North View. That's a lot to remember in a very short span of time. Okay, here goes. Starting on Bethel. Yeah, we seem to be in some kind of supercharged state. I don't seem to use up charges when I'm firing now. Which I totally need, don't get me wrong. Next we're looking for North Gate. Saw you. 
Not Walker. I might be in too big of a hurry, might be the issue. Sandmill, Robinson. Come on. I love the characters in these games. I definitely don't want Northgate. Yep, that's where I messed up. It's behind me. Jeez. I'm sorry if I'm flailing around a lot, guys. I can't help it. McKinley. Northview. Like, that sounded right up on me. And lo and behold, it was. We're looking for McKinley to Northview. Oh. And the worst part is, I know I'm timed. That just makes everything so much more stressful. Yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, that's the five. What's next? I trust you brought the fourth, the final chain. Yep. Well done, my friend. On to the final step. Let's cast all five chains into the cauldron, like so. Okay. Did them all correctly and in the correct order, so I think I did it right. That looks promising, maybe? As many times as I messed up in the last game, it is not entirely out of the question that I could still be out, like, not out of the woods yet, so to speak. Is that it? Indeed it is. The ritual dictates that the fish will not be able to reawaken again until an entire year has passed, and that any straggling parasites will re-enter their host after some time has passed. So in other words, your work here tonight is complete. Please, take this. It's what I owe you for your services tonight. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. I may require your help once again in the future. So I'll definitely be keeping your number on hand, just in case I get require your assistance once more. I'm always looking for odd jobs around town. Give me a call anytime. Certainly will. Hopefully I'll pass across again soon. But until then, I must bid you farewell. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks. You too. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting the angler fish. Oof. <laughs> and the worst part of it, I'm not done. I only did normal mode. I have to do that again in tough mode. <laughs> so, this should be fun. So, let me simply get a fresh post-it note here, because I'm going to need it for that last one. And uh, we're going to dive on in. Okay, I have steeled my nerves. I don't know what the difference is going to be. I think we're going to skip this part. We're pretty much familiar with the thrust of it. Oh, I have less time, for starters. Order Harkening. Okay, Mournful Miasma. So I hit the ground running here. Watchful Eye. Wow, you are a lot closer than I expected you to be. Uh, she hasn't walked out to the campfire yet. That's right, Silver Tongue. Fool's Gold. This actually reminds me like a lot of Beware the Shadow Catcher. Though in this one, I'm kind of able to take a slightly more aggressive stance. Oh, I bet I don't get infinite charges in tough mode. Oh, that really is going to make things so much worse. You can hear me say everything correctly, I think. Not sure. Nope. Oh, she's an angler fish because the horn is the thing that's lighting the path. I am always amazed at how he manages to, how, how Zed Technician manages to utilize these natural aspects of these animal people and put them to good use. All right, cauldron, cauldron, tell me which way I'm going. Sandmill, Walker. Yeah, they are randomized. These were not these were not the names that were here before. Okay, in this case, I don't even need to worry about it. I can just beeline it, and I'll be fine. The light is how she's navigating. That is incredibly clever. 
I, I had the same realization when it dawned on me that Ruth had four arms because she was a cockroach. So it's like, yeah, duh, of course she can carry four boxes. Okay. Oh, there you are. Able to find the chain? Yep. <laughs> what do I got on you? I'll summon the next one. Okay. Another thing that I know is that there is some randomness in this game. Silver tongue. There is randomness insofar as certain things can happen in certain playthroughs that don't happen in others. Uh, when I was doing another playthrough of um, Artifacts and Antiquities, I had a jump scare happen that did not happen in my one of my well, my recorded run. It was actually the footage I lost, where you can get something that, that runs down the hall at you in order to scare you, but it's randomly triggered, so it doesn't always happen. So when I was recording, it didn't happen that time. So I'm wondering if that fella's going to stick his head in the window. The parasites. I don't know what those things are based off of. They have like a... Somewhere between a pterodactyl and a coyote's head, and then like grasshopper legs, and it's really, really, really unnerving. It's like hall butt, understood. Ward Road, Poplar Drive. Wow, that wasn't even a road in the in the previous run, so there's more randomness to this than I thought. Hit Poplar and just run. Do not look back, Poplar. So I know for now it's just kind of an intimidation mode. So I'm just going to try to keep my distance if it tries to, like, get into my field of view. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of ignore it and just go. Wow, you wasted no time getting into my field of view. Holy moly, you are fearless. Hate that, hate that, hate that, hate that, hate that, hate that. <laughs> oh man. Whew. Okay. We got the next one for you. Thank you, my friend. Two chains down. Alright. Next. Forsaken. Mournful miasma. Diabolical dust. I keep saying diabolical, it's diabolic dust. Two idle hands. So yeah, you can just kind of... You don't have to run around. Broken bones. Maybe she's just throwing them in the bowl. At this point, that's what I'd be doing. Cursed ash. Times one. Two watchful eyes. Helps keep me things organized if I kind of keep them in the same place. We'll see how far that gets me, I guess. All right. Third chain's now been summoned. It's your turn again. Okay, then. The amulet. Jewelry? <laughs> no, no. Ward. Garner. L. Mavis. Ward Garner L. Mavis. Now I have to be careful. I have five shots, I better make them all count. Gotta aim better than I did and bit more than zero. Actually, the face of these things kind of reminds me of that, but they have more of a beak. So it's like, I don't think they're related. Oh, no, 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 no. Zero percent of that, thank you. I'm on my last shot. That one down to the wire, didn't I? Trust you located the third? Yep, good. 
I don't need to rush the dialogue because time doesn't advance during the dialogue segment, which is kind of a universal constant in these games. Dauntless. Mournful Miasma. Hello. Fool's Gold. Three Bleeding Hearts. One Idle Hand. Stemming from the Idle Hands or the Devil's Play things. Two spiteful things. Don't know if spiteful thing is a reference to anything. Sounds like something I'd find in Monster Hunter. Okay, time for the real stress test to begin. Is it ready? Yes. Back in the flash. Stay vigilant. Sand mill. Mill wood. Robins. Three roads. Two of them are mills, so that's nice and easy. I see you. No wood. It's like, do I conserve my shot? Or do I always take my shot? Right now it seems like the aggressive stance is the correct one. But that could kill me. I don't know that for a fact. Robins. That guy was going straight for me, so there was no doubt about that decision. that's my last shot, so I better hope I'm there. And I am. I'll take it. Whew, wish this spell had a little more precision behind it there, Monica. Four chains left to now. There's only one more chain left, and our work tonight is done, my friend. I'm going to begin summoning the final chain. Okay. I think we're actually making fairly decent time. I'm not going to test that theory, of course. Cursed Ashes. One. Mournful Miasma. Watchful Eyes. Where did you get these things from? Bleeding Heart. The longer I'm thinking on this, the worse this is kind of becoming. Fool's Gold. Diabolical Dust. I'm just going to call it Diabolical Dust. Who cares? Silver Tongues. Broken Bone. One. Actually, the Deadly Dust was uh, an episode of that lame live-action Spider-Man series. Dating myself a bit with that reference. Thus, the final chain has been summoned. Not a moment too soon. The fish grows restless. You must hurry. It's funny that a fish is fighting a fish. So really, the fish of the title could really refer to either the main character or the demon fish. Okay, so I'm going to write this down again because I'm not taking chances because I have way less time now. Ward. Garner. So that's a pretty familiar path already. Millwood. And now we know we can't take any shortcuts because if we don't take the route it tells us to, we get teleported back to the stall. North view. Okay, so these five are going to be our steps. Starting to ward to Garner. I hope I'm in super mode. If I don't have that, this is going to be really dangerous. I basically get one shot per street, and that's literally it. Oh, I do not have the super mode. Oh wait, I do! It comes back! But it takes a second. I'm in the super mode, but it's a little bit slow. And you know what? I'll take that trade-off. Okay, we're taking Garner. I hear you. Okay, slashing it does work. There's really no reason not to. What? Oh, man! Yeah, you got me. Think your ammo just broke. Sorry. No, no, don't worry about that. It was created to protect. My father would be proud that it accomplished its purpose in the end. Back to business. Given how dangerous situations come, I can't in good conscience send you back there unprotected. I have to cancel this job right here and now. I don't want you getting hurt because of me. But what about the fish? It's my responsibility. My responsibility alone at this point. I'll tend to keep it asleep on my own once more, and whatever happens to me happens. Um, though your task tonight is technically incomplete, I'm still going to pay you the full amount anyway. Thanks, Monica. You're nothing other than my friend. Be safe out there. Do I have to play as Monica now? Nothing else to done about the situation Angela departed. 
Once again, Monica tried her best to seal the fish away. Unfortunately for her, every last one of her attempts was futile. Oh no, I did screw up! It wasn't long before a mighty rumble emitted from deep within the fish, and it unceremoniously began to stir. Its eyes slowly began to open. It gazed upon the landscape for the first time in millennia. The fish sat unmoving and unblinking for a moment that was all too fleeting. And then a strange beast emerged from its mouth. Another one would soon emerge, then another, and countless more would follow. It wasn't long until the entire entirety of the woods were filled with the strange parasitic beasts. Now being separated from their host for the first time in a long, long time, they began to feed. Within a day, the entire forest was plunged into an eternal and deafening silence as the creatures consumed everything in their path. Once their ravenous nature had rendered the immediate area devoid of life, the swarms soon began to wander off in search of more food. And that's when the disappearances began in mass. Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay, is it the same path? Lord, Garner, Millwood, Morris, Northview. It is. Okay, so the game's merciful. There are continues between each chain. And thank goodness, because this is the time where you're going to die if you're going to die. Because these guys are really aggressive, and that dude just snuck up on me. The ambience gets a lot more intense, so it's actually a lot harder to see. It's a lot harder to keep your bearings straight, too, just because, like, everything is louder, and they're more aggressive, there's more of them, and now I'm just terrified ones behind me. Garner. No. Got me behind last time. I'm not gonna let you do it again. Beat it. No wood. Got two with that one, but there's another one just chilling out over there. This one behind me isn't there. Like, seriously, is this the creature from the bit more no zero? Millwood Morris. Haven't fired in a while. Northgate North View. Ah, it tried to trick me. So if you were just looking for North, you would have been thrown off. Yeah, slashing it's the best thing to do, because you can catch more of them. Beat it. Get out of here. Whew. They weren't kidding. There was a lot more of them that time. I trust that you brought forth the final chain? Yep. Well done, my friend. On to the final step. Is all five chains in the cauldron like so? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm shaking a little. That legit got me fired up. Is that it? Indeed it is. Ritual dictates the fish will not be able to reawaken again until an entire year has passed. And these straggling parasites will re-enter their host after some time has passed. In other words, our work here tonight is complete. Please, take this. It's what I owe you for your services tonight, plus a little bit extra. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. I may require your help once again in the future, so I'll definitely be keeping your number on hand, just in case I require your assistance once more. I'm always looking for odd jobs around town. Give me a call anytime. I certainly will. Hopefully our paths will cross again soon. Until then, I must bid you farewell. Have a good night, my friend. So this is where it ended before. I want to see if anything new happens this time. Nope. I was correct. There is an extended ending. At first, I didn't think that I stood even the slightest chance of being able to fill your shoes. And if I'm being honest here, I probably never will. I couldn't even perform a simple ceiling ritual by myself. I had to obtain outside help just to get by. But that's okay. You wouldn't want me to sit around feeling sorry for myself. You'd probably tell me that there's nothing wrong with seeking the help of others. And then you'd probably just tell me how proud you were that I found an adequate solution in the end. So I won't let my shortcomings get me down. No, not now, not ever. You can rest easy now, Father. I won't let you down. 
Aww, that's really nice. Oh, man. <laughs> so there's one ending that I have not gotten. So I'm going to let time run out, and we're going to see what happens. It's probably a variant of what happens if the uh, metal gets broken. But we're going to do it again just so that we can say that we've seen everything. Tough mode will be a little bit faster. Skip. And uh, we're just going to sit here and watch the clock, I guess. I guess I can explore while I'm waiting. <laughs> he took the time to craft a bathroom, and she doesn't... Well, I guess she has a sink. She has a sink right here. Give us my spellcrafting recipes on my laptop. It really helps me stay organized. <laughs> okay. Can I walk out? I can't. I can't actually walk out until I do something. I need to add the correct ingredients into the mortar. So what happens if I just mess up? Their webs. And that's just the poem. So I'll just randomly pick one and then mess it up. Silver tongue. Let's throw three of those in there. Diabolical dust. False water? I think that's the only thing I didn't use the entire time I was playing. Now, upon review, I might be completely wrong, but... And... Yeah, that should do. So what happens to this? It still turns green! There's legit no way of knowing! It's not like I did another recipe by accident. Yeah, I sure didn't. So let's see what happens. Oh! Oh dear. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I must have botched the recipe somehow. Oh man, now I'm sad. Don't let that one little slip up get to you. Come on, I'll help you out. So what, does this cost me a little bit of time? Some of these ingredients are difficult to find at times. Thanks for that, a reliable supplier. It's all ethically sourced, too. <laughs> I'm sure that makes her feel a lot better about your odd collection of jars of tongues and eyeballs and stuff. Yeah, it looks like I lose... That was like, what, 15, maybe 20 minutes for having done that? So is there a special dialogue for just messing up a whole bunch? Sounds like there's a limit to how much you can put in. One, two... No? One, two, three... Uh... It's like three is the hard cap for any ingredient you throw in. I don't know if I just literally put everything. Science time class. Yeah, three is definitely the max. Now you still get a green result, so I guess that's a little bit of a misleading thing to tell the player, but then again, if you're following the recipe, it shouldn't be an issue. Oof. <laughs> okay, she doesn't say anything. I thought she'd like make a smart comment about like me being an idiot or something, but... Okay, so that was our science. Yeah, that kills like 15 minutes, looks like. I think that's the only thing I can climb on. What if I just walk off? Feels like Monica runs faster. I shouldn't leave now, no. And this thing's supposed to be a fish? Are you certain about that? It's not a fish, that's like a merman. And I can climb on him. 
Well, the feet are like Merman, the, the fins not so much. That's interesting. We're learning a lot about this world today, class. And the fish itself isn't even really the threat. It's the things inside of him. I also like that the hair actually dangles in front of our eyes. Okay, how close are we? Almost there. Yeah, you can just kind of, like, walk all over the fish. That's pretty funny. I don't know if that was, like, deliberate, or just because he's a solid object, but yeah, you totally can. This world has some strange things hidden in it. Oh, I can crouch. Ultimately kind of pointless, but I can. Now, there are certain parts of the forest you can cut through and certain parts you can't, but staying on the road is still the dominant strategy. Especially once that magical effect starts warping you back to start. What the heck? It is the monster! It's Sandra! A oh, woof woof! Hello, Sandra. Hey, how are you holding up? I'm okay. I'll try to keep myself busy and not think about it too much. I hear ya. If you don't want to talk about it, stop by and see me. You got that? You ain't gotta get through this by yourself. Oh, Sandra is alive and well, and she made a friend. And I guess she got her car back. I was wondering if there was a special message, like, hidden on the license plate. Thank you, Zed Technician, for adding this Easter egg. This makes my day. Can I go into her house? That'd be a little rude, right? But yeah, Sandra is very much alive. And it's good to see her again. She still kind of has that grumpy face thing going on. But hey, you know what? This is great. I'm really happy about this. And he has a name! Rex! <laughs> oh, these games bring me indescribable joy. I can crouch, but I can't go under anything. Okay, that was a fun little detour. I'm glad I did that. Gotta be getting pretty close to game time. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll be cutting out less than I expected. I found all sorts of neat stuff. Seeing Sandra again, after all this time since the bit more no zero, really, like, legit made my day. Thank you, Zed Technician. Okay. So now we're going to see the last ending. Monica knew all too well just how little time she had to work with before the fish awakened. During her preparation, she had written a note to remind herself of the approaching deadline. But unfortunately for her, her short time had already run out. It wasn't long before a mighty rumble emitted from deep within the fish as it unceremoniously began to stir. As its eyes slowly began to open, it gazed upon the landscape for the first time in millennia. The fish sat, unmoving and unblinking for a moment that was all too fleeting, and then a strange beast emerged from its mouth. Another one would soon emerge, then another. Countless more would follow. It wasn't long until the entirety of the woods were filled with the strange parasitic beasts. Now being separated from their host for the first time in a long, long time, they began to feed. Within a day, the entire forest was plunged into eternal and deafening silence as the creatures consumed everything in their path. Once their ravenous nature had rendered the immediate area devoid of life, the swarms soon began to wander off in search of more food. And that's when the disappearances began in mass. Okay, so yeah, you just kind of get a, a variant of the caught ending. But that was really good. Like, honestly, the, the recipe thing reminded me a lot of Beware the Shadow Catcher. And that's a good thing, because I loved Beware the Shadow Catcher, like, a lot. It's hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> I keep saying that. Like, it's really, really hard for me to pick a favorite. These games have this really, really down-home charm to them. And the characters are always so much fun and really relatable. And I just am so glad that Zed Technician continues to make games. And I just, I love every single one of them. So, thank you again, Zed Technician, for making an awesome game. And I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your comments down below letting me know what you think. Do you think this one might be your favorite of the games? Which one 
of them is your favorite if it is not. I think, if pressed, I might say Beware of the Shadow Catcher, um, but I love cooking, so that's a video for another time. All right, thanks for joining me here today. Uh, this has been The Hipster Snack, playing The Fish's Tale by Zed Technician. Link, as always, in the description. Buy it for yourself and support the game dev. And for now, I'm signing off.